Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello farmers and welcome back to Mercury Farms. Early in the morning hours, we are picking up the straw to begin with. Uh, it's a little cloudy this morning, but you know, no rain in the forecast. I did a little looking around at uh, what's going on around town, uh, price-wise. Uh, just checking up on some things. And I thought, you know what, I think I'll just start by picking up the straw here. And we're just going to plop it right into storage. We don't get that much money anyways, but I figured, you no, know, that's what we should do just to start with. Not knowing, you know, when we get our cows, uh, what it's going to entail, what it's going to take. And if we always need to, I mean, can we always take it back out of storage and sell it if there's a high demand or a good price or whatever. And then uh, I really want to get the straw just because I want to replant this field. I think we got enough cereal crop and straw in storage. So I think this time, uh, I think soybeans would be nice. Just to put down. Uh, yeah, I've always said this. It doesn't really matter just because soybeans pay the most per a thousand liters doesn't mean that's what you should always plant as we've seen uh like i pro proved in ravenport ravenport <laughs> ravenport with the sugar beets uh sugar beets do pretty well but if you look at the total per a thousand you think oh why would i want to but we're going to pick up this field get this field cleared so we can get our seed roll going we are going to do the headlands for it and then set them off on a worker. And uh, and then we're going to go up and kind of take care of the chickens. Uh, do some things up there. i got to check on the grass field. See if the grass field is ready to be harvested or not. I don't think it's going to be. Because basically we just go to bed at 8 o'clock at night which is uh, 20, 100 hours. And then I just usually sleep until like 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning like we are now. Let's go ahead and put more straw in storage. At this point, I'm thinking we'll just fill up the silo until it takes all 500,000 liters. And then we'll sell it as needed. Now, before I came on here, I can actually go in here while this is unloading. Uh, this mod just came out. Now, this mod only works in patch 1.3, which is still in beta, but greenhouses. As you can see, $25,000 a piece, uh, lettuce and tomato. They earn you $40 per an hour, which, you know, you think at first it's not bad. And I thought, greenhouses, I would like to do greenhouses. And I thought about doing these greenhouses, and I started doing some math. So first of all, okay, it's $25,000 you got to put up front. Uh, at $40 per hour, it actually is going to take you 30 in-game days to make back the $25,000, which is fine. But now take consideration, you have to put fertilizer in it. Not fertilizer, but uh, manure. We can sell manure on this map. So not only is it $25,000 to put it down, um, I'm also using manure from the cows that we were going to have and kind of like putting you know giving them the manure which is money so it's like more than i yeah i'm not sure if it's worth it i think maybe if it was like 50 dollars an hour it might be better off we'll have to see uh, i would like to do some kind of green i've always liked doing greenhouses before because I always like taking care of the cows. And with the cows, I was like, what do I do with all this manure? In uh, 17 on Rattlesnake Valley, I had so much manure. I was actually using it to fertilize my fields. Uh, but don't forget, in 17, you had to fertilize your fields three times. And the mod I had is if you used manure and then plowed it in, it counted, it counted as two stages of fertilization. And of course, in 17, there was no caps on... How many animals you could have in a pen so i think i had like maybe eight or nine hundred cows yes when you have that many total mix rations is a thing to deal with all right so there is a straw picked up 
And I, and I was thinking, uh, last night, I was, uh, thinking about what to do in the next upcoming episodes and how I was going to approach it. And I was like, you know what I don't have on the farm yet is a pressure washer. But yeah, my vehicles are not getting that dirty. Yes, we haven't been here that long yet, but... And I do have the dirt on slow. But then again, I always do, because if you have dirt on slow, that means repair is on slow. But uh, as for... Like I said, I was thinking about the farm. I think we are going to borrow a half million dollars now. We don't need that much to do the cows, but we need it for some other things. And if I don't do so... Uh, we're going to progress kind of slow on the farm, which is fine. Uh, darn it, I always park the fertilizer spreader one way. Now, I'm try I'm going to actually try something here. This usually doesn't work, but I haven't tried it on this map yet. So some people have made comments that you can fertilize it, then seed it, then you're done with it. But I don't think you can do two stages of artificial fertilization kind of like in a row. So it's not going to hurt it either way. So it's a, you know, I don't want to say it's a big field because it's not that big of a field for what we got. So it's not going to take us long to fertilize it. We'll fertilize it here. And then when we seed it, we'll see if our seed roll actually puts a second stage of fertilization down on the field. I don't think it's going to, but some maps will allow you to do that. Some maps won't. I remember that in 17 uh, being that way. So I don't know the rules of 19 yet. So we'll see how it goes. And the thing is, like uh, I'm putting fertilizer down now. Uh, when the seed drill goes over, if it can't use, if it can't quote unquote fertilize the ground, I'm not going to actually use fertilizer anyway. So either way, if it works, great. If it doesn't, I'm not actually wasting fertilizer. But sometimes when you do fertilizer twice, now what would work, as we saw in Ravenport, like if I put digestate down and then see the field, it's fine. That counts as two stages. But I don't think I can do artificial fertilizer. Now, I think if I put artificial fertilizer down like I am now and then cultivated the field or plowed the field and then seeded the field, that would work. But I don't think you can do it step right after step. And seeing as we don't have a cultivator and really don't need to cultivate the field. Uh, yeah, we'll just find out here in a momentarily. Alright, so that is our field fully fertilized. Let's head on down, grab our seed roll and do some headlands around here. Then send them off on a worker. So we can go take care of our chickens. And also I got a little good news when I woke up this morning and you can probably tell my voice I am starting to feel a little bit better with my cold. So hopefully I don't have any issues while I'm recording where I get a coughing spell or I just get real nasally because my nose is stuffs right up. Um, but anywho, <laughs> let's head on over to the field and put this on some soybeans. Yeah, so if we go to the field... PDA stat, pa uh, stat page here we can see one stage of fertilization is down like I said I'm not sure this is going to work for us but like I said if I use like manure or probably even like liquid fertilizer anything but artificial fertilizer I think it would count as a second stage Um, but I think it's actually going to work because it looks like my fertilizer meter is going down. Alright, so if I go in here. Alright, so I am using fertilizer, but it's not showing up as being fertilized again. So I guess I was wrong in saying it wouldn't use fertilizer. I guess it's going to. That's okay. I mean, you got it, we, we got to test it. We got to test it. Am I actually using fertilizer? Yes, I am using fertilizer, but it's not actually counting as a second stage. Oh, well, this field's actually going to get three stages of fertilization down on it. So, 
Yeah, if I use a different kind of fertilizer than what the Seedrill uses, it probably would work. Or if I did a second pr or procedure in between. Like cultivate or plow or just something. I think it would count. But enough of that. Uh, test is done. We f I figured out that doesn't quite work the way I need to do it and for the equipment that we have. So I'm hoping today... Um, we'll get the grass fields cut, get it over to the BGA, and who knows, we might even uh, just take out the loan today. And figure out where the cow pen is going to go. Alright, I just want to do one more headland to give this guy enough room to turn around to do what he needs to do. So I can go take care of a few things. And this is why I'm saying another tractor could come in handy because I would like to probably sell some oats right now while this guy's seeding the field, but I don't have another tractor. Other than the Dutes Fire, but I don't think that tractor is going to be capable enough to haul. I, oh, I'm pretty sure it would, but it'd just be strugglesome to do so. I think it's only 105 horsepower. And it's way up the chicken farm. I mean, I think it would do fine hauling 21,000 liters of whatever we have. All right, that should be more than enough headlands for this dude, or madam, depending on who gets hired here, to take over and uh, see the rest of the field by themselves. Madam. Yes, I know I'm blocking it. There you go. Yeah, so only 50% fertilized. So that doesn't, that's the procedure I just did does not work. I mean, I guess I could, I mean, if I didn't want to skip not having to fertilize on the first growth stage or doing something like that, I guess a cultivator would work. How much is that cultivator that we were kind of using? We didn't use it much at Ravenport. Subsoilers, discaros, cultivators. It is $50,000. Um, discaros might be something. Oh, well, maybe in the future. Uh, like I said, we got, I don't want to say we got money problems, but money is tight as it is. So, while this ma'am is plow yeah, plowing our field, uh, seeding our field, it's looking good already. Let's head up here to the chickens. How did you ladies do overnight? Not too bad. And we are up to 63 apiece. Every four hours, we're getting three chickens. Because the rooster doesn't really do anything. The rooster's a stare for effect. I think they should uh, make it so if you have the more roosters you have, the faster they reproduce as well. And just like that, the chickens are pretty much taken care of. <laughs> easy peasy, nice and easy. Yeah, we might, uh, once they get going, I could put down another coop there, but I do know I tried putting that coop up against this hedgerow. The problem is, the way I had it turned, of course, is going to be just the opposite of this. So, like, I think that feed trough may be right here, right where this log is. So, it might be kind of hard to clean up their food trough area. But we'll have to see. I mean, it's only 40 grain for a chicken coop, and we know... Uh, you know, the first time we sell these off here, I'll make that much money, no problem. So let's head on over here. What is our grass field up to now? I could check the PDA page, but 
Oh, I'd rather come over here and just see. Well, it still says it's growing, so it should be ready sometime this afternoon, I would think. And the same goes for that grass field over there. They were both seeded around the same time. Yep, still growing. I'm still trying to figure out how I got 100% fertilized. Where, am I, where are we here? Um, this way? So, I mean, I mowed it. And then I seeded it. And the field only used to be like up in here. Same thing here. It's like where I mow. It's almost like getting a stage of fertilization. I don't know if this thing to do with the map or, or what. Um... So the thing I want to know is how much money can I actually borrow? Can I borrow actually I mean we, we do have a lot of assets into the farm so if I want to borrow half million give or take that's a <laughs> yeah, 420 alright the reason I want a half million because I'm thinking about doing Something like this. Um, how much does that feel? 234000 So I'll have to see. Uh, there's a lot of trees here that I can cut down. Um, yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. And then I'm thinking about doing the tree farms over here. Be kind of interesting. Um, how much is this land? Ooh, that's, that's expensive. I mean, obviously there's a lot of trees up in here. Plus, I would get that field, but that's, that's really expensive. Um, 76000 for this up here. Hmm. Nope, let me get out of that page. There we go. Let me go jump in the Dutes Fire, and I'm going to take a ride up there, and we're going to kind of see how forestry is a forest. That's what I want to see. If I scroll back far enough in the dude's fire, it doesn't sound too loud. But here we are up in the forestry area, and yes, there is tons of trees up here. Tons and tons. A whole bunch of flipping trees. This would definitely be... Uh, exactly where am I? Oh, near the edge of the map. Yeah, there are a lot of trees up here. But it would be expensive to kind of get into forestry. Um, I mean, I do got a chainsaw, which is not the problem. Because we, we could start with this a chainsaw. Uh, but definitely I'd get the truck and you know me, I'm going to get the auto loading, the auto loader for the, the logs because, <laughs> yeah, I'm not that good at loading logs. So obviously I have to delimb these and all that kind of stuff. Or I could lease. How much it is it to lease one of these guys? Ouch. That's quite a bit. And per day, per operating hour, $9,000 per every hour. Playing on hard economy could, you know, if it was normal economy, that would be probably the way to go. Hard economy, it could be a little difficult only because, well, the pricing. Um, so probably at first, it'd have to be like a truck. Uh, definitely the trailer and then of course the chainsaw. Oh, now I gotta find my way out of here. Just follow the yellow brick road. All right, here we are back at the animal farm, if you will. And since I still got the loan money up there, and I'm thinking, well, we're gonna have cows in a little while. We might as well just get the pasture now, right? So animal pens. Um, where is large cow pasture? details uh, let me get this up here it shouldn't cost that much more 
So still, I don't know why the cow pastures, I think the pig pen's the same way. It only rotates at 90 degrees. Now, unfortunately, it would be nice if I could have got the chicken pen. Well, I could overlap them. That, that would just look terrible. But I think what we're going to do is do something like this. I actually own that road, huh? The road's actually mine, but what we're going to do is just kind of put it snug up against there. I do have some room by the chickens, so that's all good. Um, sure, why not? So that is pretty flush with that. So I like that a lot. That looks good right there. Nice and even there. I like that. And we do have plenty of room like to bring uh, the trailer, which is right here. And to load these up, that all looks good there. So this would be for the slurry. Um, if this is for the manure, that is awfully small. So here is where we pick up the milk, okay. I have not used this mod yet, so hey, this could be one of those where maybe the manure piles up. I may have to come in here and clean up the manure myself. That could be a thing. We will find out. Uh, looks like the straw goes here, so I may have to bring it in. Um, and this is where the animal dialogue is. So the question is, how much a transportation fee? So if I just click on transportation fee is $200 per cow. Okay. Um, let me do some thinking here. So if we come in animal trailers, uh, animals, nope, nope, nope. It's, uh, animal transport. And it'd be this one right here, six cows. So if you're going to customize, so to lease it, it's less than $800. So if I buy more than four cows, which obviously we will, leasing this will be cheaper because it'll be $800 to lease it for an hour. And it's not going to take me an hour to transport all the cows. It is $200 per cow, am I right? Uh, 200 per cow. So four cat. If I just bought four cows, that'd be more than leasing the trailer. So we'll lease the trailer to transport our cows and bring them in here. Um, we're probably gonna do the same thing as before. Uh, this is their water trough. This is their food trough. So the only thing I'm not really quite sure about this mod, because like I said, I haven't used it, is where the manure is going to go. This one that, like I said, this might be one of those you have to go in and clean out yourself. Uh, this is where you pick up the slurry. So yeah, we will find out, like I said, in a little, little time here. Uh, since we are spending money, and yeah, we do have that loan, the one thing we know we're going to need, we're going to come right in here right now. Oh, yes, a 60,000 liter mixer. Uh, but we do need to mix up the colors a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not, uh, let's not go there. <laughs> um, that's not too bad. With the Challenger rims. I mean, once we paint it, we can always change the color of it. All right, I changed my mind. Uh, we will go purple. Is that, is that, they just call it purple? Yeah, just call it purple. Uh, it doesn't look too bad with the Challenger rims on it, I think. So we do need this guy right here. So we will buy that. All in the preparation for the cows. We're not buying the cows until we have the silos, but we should have, in the next end game day, we should have all that. Um, the other thing we will need... Um... I think we'll wait on that tanker there 
I think we will just get this one here. I'm not too worried about the milk. Uh, it'll take a while for the cows to do anything. Uh, actually, I'll hold off on that because who knows? Maybe maybe we'll get a truck in the meantime. I do have... I did find a Volvo uh, modded truck, but to me, it does not look... The I mean, it, it's okay. It's not bad, but to me, it's kind of... Uh, it's not my style. Not my style. What's the uh, horsepower on it? 460? I think uh, I thought about going with this truck here. But the problem is there's you can't get a trailer hitch for it. And it has no PTO on the back of it as well. So we might be going with the, the man truck once again. Just a different color. Uh, how much was the truck going to cost? Uh, let's see here. Uh, the engine horsepower will keep the same. Um, so it's going to cost us $110,000. Yikes. Money everywhere. All right. So our worker has completed down here. Fold that up. And I think we need to go sell some oats. If I'm not mistaken, where am I going with the oats? 623 at the vehicle shop grain. So that should be just where the vehicle shop is, right? Yep, right over here. So we're going to go sell some oats. We got like 30,000. I think we'll just go with one trailer for now. The trailer holds 21,000. And uh, let's uh, at least bring in some cash. All right, we've been spending money. Now let's bring some in. Won't be fantastic. I'm thinking somewhere around thirteen or fourteen thousand. Hopefully. Uh, thirteen thousand. So yeah, not too far off. I don't need fuel while I'm here. And while I'm here, I'm not sure if this is the same hitch system. But it is. Uh, the PTO shaft looks like it's going to drag into the ground while I'm transporting it. But we'll get it out of here and bring it to our animal farm. At least make start making it look more like an animal farm. We're like we're getting all set for everything actually I, I need to leave it down here uh, because I, all my material that I need to put into the mixer is down at the farm so glad I thought about that before I brought it up there and our worker didn't quite finish the field completely over here so I'm going to tidy that off right now well this field down here wasn't ready when I woke up but it's only been an hour and it's ready so we're going to come on down here and set this guy off on a worker because I got more things I need to do this morning. He should be able to fit maybe all this canola into a harvester. I don't know. Um, if not, that's that's fine by me. That just means uh, more canola to sell later on. Uh, the bad part is the price is not like what it was last night. The best price is actually dropping, so we'll probably just put it in the storage and the next time this field that needs some um, lime will probably expand it up a little further and maybe make it just a little bit wider all right so now that he's kind of started off all right so it does not need lime does not need to be plowed let's come back to the farm because with all this equipment we're starting to get around here, it's time to look into the sheds. And if we come down to the end, um, vehicle shelter, that's gray, that's brown. Whoops. I'm trying to see if it's uh, this wood or don't know.
with only 20,000 we'll kind of get it like right about there all right so I'm a little bit into the hedge um We'll just kind of pretend that like there's a little bit of weeds growing on the inside of it. These are just weeds and they're uh, investing a little bit on the inside. <laughs> That's fine. Where is the, oh, the light switch is right in the middle. All right. So what I need to do now is to take some of our equipment and start putting it away. Not the seed drill because uh, we're going to need the seed drill pretty soon in the field that we're harvesting. So I'm going to start grabbing some of this equipment and start plopping it away. And I'll bring it back when uh, the yard is starting to look a little bit better than what it is right now. Well, I'm starting to cram everything into the shed. Got mostly everything in there, except for the seed roll, which because I'm taking it down to the field that our harvester is in, which we can just see he's got an 80% full tank but he is just about done so I'm going to take a gamble and just go down there and start seeding I mean if he if he fills up fine uh, it's not going to take us long to come back to the farm get the trailer and unload him um, so since the canola was in the field now we're going to put soybeans in this so we got two fields of soybean to go Uh, can you get all that into your... Uh, I think we'll just have to sit here and wait and find out. Maybe I'll go grab a snack at the burger van. I could use some breakfast. Maybe they sell breakfast burritos. Looking down at the menu, third down on the left, I do believe it says breakfast. I don't know what it is, but... Uh, so I'll have to wait in line and get breakfast. Seems like I'm always behind the same people. One thing you should always do after having breakfast is jumping up and down on the trampoline. Oh, my cell phone just went off and our, and our worker has a full tank. I guess that means I have to go back and get, get a trailer for him. I better get moving though. He's not going to want to wait. Well, he almost made it to the end of the field. So we'll get him unloaded. He'll finish his job. Uh, then I'll just park the trailer at the end of the field. He'll unload in there. I'll get the new colon start seed, uh, yeah, seeding some soybeans down this field. So we can s expand the field a little bit further up and a little bit wider that way. Maybe cut down some trees. Uh, get some cash that way. I mean, I got trees to remove over there. Do a little bit more tree removal. We got the chainsaw. I just wish I, I had the trailer and a truck. But who knows, I just may borrow the money to do so. I know the loan's going to start going up and up and up. I said just for the cows, but let's face it, I lied. I lied. Well, now that that field is taken care of, harvested and reseeded right away, and I thought to myself, well, if that field turned over, what about our grass field? And our grass fields are ready to go. So we are going to put this guy right in here. So uh, if I can back up nicely. Go ahead and put this in the storage because the price of canola is going down. I'm actually going to park the trailer right underneath that little shed area right there. Good place for it because our shed is pretty well occupied hug on the wall probably a little bit too close but we're fine so we need the loading wagon and we'll head on up to the animal farm which we can kind of call an animal farm now because now there's a cow pasture there We'll drop this off, hook up the mower and the wind drawer, 
and start cutting some grass. We'll see how much grass we get out of the fields at this time. Well, I've just spent the last 10 minutes trying to hook up the mower as one piece all in the front. Uh, but for some reason, I know I got a modded mower here. So, I'll actually show you here. So, if I hitch that off there, I am not allowed to hook up the mower. Now, this would be kind of like the way it would be on the front. I'm not allowed to hook up the mower right there, even though I got three-point leakage on the back of the mower and a PTO shaft. Even if I lower the mower, try, I thought, okay, do I have to lower the mower in order for the hook on? And it won't. So I even thought, well, that's okay. I can put the mower on the front and um, I'll put the wind drawer on the back because it's got a PTO shaft, three-point leakage, and the wind drawer won't, won't hook up on it to it either. So I think I'll have to go back to Ravenport when I get done and see if it's the mower or is it something to do with the tractor. Um, I'm not sure. But either way, it uh, looks like I'm mowing it, then wind drawing it, then picking it up, which is which is all fine. Uh, it'll just take me a little bit longer. Uh, nope, lower that down. Turn the mower on. So I am going to be mowing grass, wind drawing it, and I'll bring it back because it uh, hasn't been that long since we mowed some grass. It shouldn't take me too long to do it anyways. But I'll bring it back when we start uh, picking up the loading wagon and bring it to the BGA so we can see how much grass we actually end up with. Well, it really hasn't taken me that long to mow as much as I thought it would. Obviously, mowing at 16 miles an hour is definitely going to help. I can already tell, um, yeah, the first time we mow grass up here, now obviously I'm mowing a much bigger area than I did before because if you can remember what this field looked like before, I didn't really mow the grass on the lower half of the hedgerow that was here. The other side, the other grass field, I pretty much mowed the same area. And I think we got 140,000 liters before. Um... I wouldn't be a bit surprised if we double it, if we get up to like 300,000 liters. Just because now we're plowed, lime, and we got stages of fertilization down on it. So I think it's all going to come into play. And I, like I said, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if we double it, get up to like 300,000 liters. Uh, we'll find out soon enough. Looks like uh, this morning fog might be burning off sometime soon, although the forecast still says clouds seems to be getting a little bit brighter not going to get all the grass in between everything but we were never meant to be and I don't mind the trees being here because like I said it adds a little bit of character to it and sometimes having trees and grass fields good for it to give us some shade on those hot summer days there now that we got our grass all lined up in a row it's time to start collecting it and seeing how much we can get out of these two grass fields now. Another thing to keep in, into consideration is that both fields were in the first stage of harvest, not the second stage. So if I wait a little bit longer next time, the yield will be better. I'm just in a rush to get this picked up today in the early morning hours. So this si uh, grass will be turned into silage by... Oh, well, right around dark tonight. So we can make some total mix rations so we can have cows today. So by the next in-game morning, we'll have some idea of what the cows are producing for us in manure, slurry, milk, whatever. And I'm still trying to figure out how many cows to get. And I think I might be down to 10 cows per color. Just like we did in Ravenport. Um... So that means 40 cows. Because at $2,000 a piece, that means that's 80 grand. Uh, which is quite a bit for us on hard economy. So I think that's where we're going to have to start. I'm not worried about not having, you know, not having enough total mix rations for them. I think we'll be fine there. We got plenty of straw, we got hay, and we got grass. 
or excuse me, we'll, we will have silage. We'll just have to keep up with it for a while. These grass fields are going to come in real candy, uh, making hay and silage for us. The straw, like I said, we got plenty in storage, but I need to get a stockpile of hay going. Uh, we, do, we have a decent amount, but not a lot. And silage, well, we're, we're working on it. These grass fields, like I just said, uh, should do us well in the upcoming uh, weeks here. Well, here is our first trip to the BGA. Hopefully I got two more, but I'm not thinking so. Let's have to see how it all goes out. But there is 90,000 liters of grass and about 12 hours silage. Well, remember when I said I wanted like 300,000 liters? I thought it would be double. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> We're not even going to hit even 200,000 liters, which is kind of disappointing. Um, yeah, this is our second trail that tumbles full, so yeah, we're getting close to 180,000 liters. So that's only like 40,000 liters more. I thought it would be so much better than that by expanding the fields and whatnot. But maybe next time if I let the grass hit the second harvest cycle, it could be better. There is some more grass over here somewhere where I didn't get quite with the windrower. Right up here. Maybe it can top us off. The new hull is struggling a little bit. I don't, even, I don't even have the implement even on. Now it's on and it's going to drag us down even more. I mean, it's not that much of a need to repair, but... Yeah, come on, baby. Get up the hill. So, yeah, we're going to call it like 180,000 liters of grass that we just picked up. I am curious, though, uh, as we look at... Come on. There you go. Um, so, yeah, one stage of fertilization. I don't know how I was getting two there. I'm still kind of confusing that, but it's all good. So actually, you know, even though we may hit the second stage of harvest next time, without an extra, uh, the second stage of fertilization down, the yield may go down a little bit either way. So I think it's going to pretty much even itself out. So yeah, didn't get the 300,000 liters that I wanted. Uh, I got pretty close to 200,000 liters, which is a good start. It should be more than enough. To help us out with the cows. Now all this silage. Even though we're not going to need it all. For the cows to start with. It's all going into our silo. And. Uh, it'll be all ready for some total mix rations. Whenever they need it. I'll have to. We'll have to see how much our cows take. For food. So next time when we cut the grass. We'll have to see if we're just going to make hay. Or if we're going to just make more silage. And then sell it. Now, it's a good thing I'm getting done in the morning because I do have a landscaper coming in today. He's going to help us work over at the animal farm for the cows. We are going to put in a pond for water. At least that's our plan anyways. We'll see how it goes. He may get there and say it may not work. Now, I'm just making this pile longer just so when we set the guy off on course play, it'll be easy for him to compact it. it. Takes us a little bit longer to pick it back up, but it's fine. And for now, the loading wagon can just go here. I need to bring that back to the farm because we do have barley in this field. Field uh 8,910 uh, is barley, is it not? Yes, it is. All right. And, of course, we got our soybeans here and here. So now I need to get this guy up here. And start course recording. I'm not sure this is even worth it, to be honest. 
Uh, actually, yeah, it's not it's not going to be worth it. Uh, I still got course recording on, so we'll just cancel that out. So I'm going to go compact this, uh, cover it up. And like I said, hopefully by later on tonight, uh, we can start doing the cows. It may be after dark, but I want to get the cows in today, in game today. So uh, when we wake up in the morning, we can kind of see how things are progressing with them and all. Yeah, so this is going to take a while to compact. I mean, we're at 6%, so it's not too bad. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. I appreciate you watching as always, and I'll catch you next time at Mercury Farms. But until then, have a good one.